Point Doppler 12 Futurecast. So Pete is in today for TJ, who is in for Michelle, so because she's on maternity leave. But we don't right. want to say, like, third string or anything like that, because, well, you know, you're all sort of kind of equal, right? I think the way to look at it is that, like the Boston Celtics, we have a very deep bench. Yes, depth okay? is very important. That's right. So I'm coming off the bench, doing the weather forecast right now. We'll give you, you know what, you're the, the sixth man award. Okay, hey, that. I would love very that. Very valuable. Hey, there's no shame in that. I like the sixth man award. All right. Let's take a look at live fifth point Doppler 12, not showing any precipitation across southern New England, so we move on to those weather headlines. Headlines. A little cool but sunny today. Wet weather for tomorrow and then a warm up for later on this week. Some spots could get close to 60 degrees. All right, here's a visible satellite picture. Notice most of us enjoying the sunshine today. A few fair weather clouds over central Rhode Island, but notice the swath of white. These are some low clouds and fog that developed this morning. Basically, an inversion happened. An inversion is where the cold air gets trapped at the surface, and often you can get low clouds and fog with that. Now, uh, Worcester, Massachusetts got caught in that, 28 degrees right now, and a big difference down 146 as we go into Smithfield with a decent amount of sunshine and 41 degrees. So uh, not the best situation in central Mass. Hopefully we can push some of that out. 39 right now in Providence, 38 westerly Newport at 38 degrees, and most of us staying in the sun for today. Here's a uh, live shot from Wachusett. This is one of our new live cameras. You can see uh, skiers enjoying the uh, last few weeks here of winter. This guy doing a great job. You can see putting the weight on the downhill ski, so some very good skiing being done at Wachusett. Over Providence right now, we have a few of those fair weather clouds. Temperature is 39 degrees, winds out of the southeast at 8 miles an hour. Satellite pictures showing a few of those fair weather clouds working in, but all in all, high pressure protects us. That will send in wind from the south. That will keep the coast a little bit cooler today compared to our inland areas. Now, I want to discuss uh, tomorrow briefly. We're going to go hour by hour. Fast forwarding through today, Today will be dry. Clouds increase very late tonight through tomorrow morning. And then notice the green spreading across southern New England. It will start off late in the morning. The heaviest of the rain, I think, moves through late morning through early afternoon. You can see 1 p.m., the reds and yellows indicating some of those downpours. And then this thing is out of here by tomorrow night. You can see 8 o'clock, the green across the Cape, but the rest of us have pushed away the precipitation. So it's a fast mover. Right now we're estimating about half an inch, maybe three quarters of an inch of rain. Some spots could get a bit more. So right now no um, flooding is expected from our major rivers. Could be some street flooding, but we'll continue to monitor all that stuff over the next 24 hours. For today, temperatures running into the mid-40s, a light wind out of the south. Newport a little cooler, 39 degrees because of those winds coming off of the water. Charlestown, 40 degrees. Again, the ocean very cool this time of year. That's why those coastal Occasions a bit cooler today. How about upper 40s for northern Rhode Island? 48 situate, Johnson 47 degrees, Cumberland at 47. And for eastern Massachusetts, temperatures also in the mid to upper 40s, 48 in Taunton, Fall River 46 degrees, Seekonk 47, and a little cooler here in Middletown and Little Compton in the upper 30s and low 40s. Tonight, clouds start to increase as temperatures fall into the 30s, but the clouds really don't thicken up until after midnight. Seven day future cash shows the rain for tomorrow. By a late tomorrow afternoon, early evening, the precipitation is gone. Temperatures mild, though, with the rain, 51 degrees. Thursday for St. Patrick's Day, 58 degrees, a beautiful day to celebrate. Friday, it's mild, high temperature of 60 degrees, although it won't be a bright sunny day. Hopefully we can push most of the showers out by Saturday morning and by Saturday afternoon. We'll have a, a nice St. Joseph's Day. Sunday, a little cooler with a high of 50 degrees. So. Uh, you know, not a bad ending to this afternoon. Some rain tomorrow and then uh, nice for St. Patrick's Day. All right. It was great to see you today. Yeah. yeah nice to see you, too. Nice working with you. All right. Hopefully we do, good weather, yeah, too. Hopefully we do it again. We'll do it again sometime. Okay. Yeah, I'll pencil you in my calendar. All right. <laughs> Thank thanks, you. Pete. Now we want to take a look at what we're working on for Iowa News.